I'm Linda Freed. I have uh, the pleasure of uh, being the Dean of the School of Public Health at Columbia University. I wasn't planning to work on issues of aging. I was a physician, very interested in issues of keeping people healthy. One day though, I was astounded by the data that said that in the last hundred years, the West has added 30 years to human life expectancy. Astounding. But there is a big danger that we are living longer lives in ill health. So that was the question that grabbed me. And I changed my career. I became a geriatrician the next day and worked on transforming my science to be able to serve these questions. And in the course of that, and taking care of older patients, I realized that what geriatric medicine said was its core, which was frailty, we didn't understand. We talked about it as having meanings like being equivalent to being dependent. My patients told me that their core problem was loss of energy. I just got increasingly fascinated that there was a new biology there that we didn't understand, and this was not just about dependency. Then I realized there was a third question which I cared deeply about, and that was, what was the meaning of longer lives? I realized that building health through our now longer lives was the key in the lock that could unlock the assets and potential of our longer lives. Over my career, as a scientist, I've emerged as a senior scientist, but I also have grown in how much I care about leadership for science and for society. I have taken on increasingly responsible roles to lead science for the public good, and so becoming a dean at a great School of Public Health was a great opportunity to shape the science that we need for the future. Cities, it turns out, are fabulous places to get older if they're designed for that, and that is the, one of the many challenges of redesigning a society. We've learned that actually staying physically and mentally active is the best prescription you can give anybody to prevent frailty every single day. But we also know that the right opportunities in our cities and our societies for people to contribute brings out much more than frailty prevention in terms of keeping people vital, contributing, and able to grow. Mm -hmm.